Del Toro's new Time Cutter SW4200. This is a traditional Toro Time Cutter from here back, but the big deal is the steering wheel. This one steers like a tractor, and it has the transmission of a zero turn. Let's check it out. We'll start with the power plant here. 25 and a half horsepower, V-twin overhead valve. This thing is branded Toro. Um, yes, it is a China-made engine, but it comes out of a factory that makes engines for BMW. Uh, so this thing's been made to Toro specs, and we've seen quite a few engines that have come out of that factory, and they hold up very, very well. It has a built-in uh, oil drain tube right there, tucked away uh, down in there is a spin-on oil filter. And this is all very similar to any Toro time cutter that you're going to see. Um, the seat is adjustable, you just need a wrench. Standard time cutter controls, the electric clutch switch, ignition switch, choke, throttle. This is where it gets a little different. Uh, smart park you can turn that on and when you get out of the seat even if the mowing decks on it will automatically put the machine into park and shut the mowing deck off for you uh, standard height of, height of cut control We've got the hydrostatic pedal so forward and reverse is right here your adjustable steering column which is kind of cool so you can have plenty of room to get in there once you're on board you can release the handle or, and it will come down and put the steering wheel in a comfortable position for you a fairly standard rack and pinion steering for starters. All right, we'll try to give you an idea how all of this works. Uh, when I push on the pedal to go forward, you can see that it's moving this whole mechanism right here, which in turn is pushing on these rods, which go back and control the uh, transmissions like a traditional zero turn would. So right now I'm just going straight, so just they both push at the same time, the same distance. If we turn, you'll see this mechanism pulls on a cable, which is effectively going to shorten uh, one of those rods back there going back to the transmission, so that the inside wheel is going to turn slower than the outside wheel. And the same in the other direction. Transmission and the steering are all tied together. That's forward, and of course, it has to go in reverse as well. And again, if we turn the wheel far enough, it will actually make the uh, inside wheel go in reverse. So it looks complicated, but it's pretty simple once you, uh, once you see what's going on under there. Okay, and under there you've got your Hydro Gear ZTR 2100 dual hydraulic transmissions. Heavy duty electric clutch. Um, these levers right here so that you can push this thing around if you can't get the engine started. Uh, on that note, these brakes can actually be run by hand if you ever need to push this thing and have a dead battery. You can always just do it by hand.
take the brakes off. Of course there's one of these for each transmission. brake that can also be done manually. Whatever you need, we've got your machine.